to everyone. My name is Kelly Rhodes, and today we're going to have a little lesson on main idea and supporting details. You may not realize it, but you can actually find the main idea in lots of things around this world. It doesn't always have to be text. You can look at a picture and you can discover the main idea of that. Um, you can look at objects and you can find the main idea. This is a perfect example. Now, when I look at this and I want to figure out what the main idea is, I've got to ask myself two questions. Number one, what is this or who is this? In this case, it's a what. Second question, what is it doing? If you can answer those two questions, whether it be a text, a picture, an object, if you can answer those two questions, more than likely you're going to be able to determine the main idea. So let's try it out with this. So if I were to ask you, what is this? How many of you would say, it's a bowl? That's what I would say. You might be a little bit more specific. It's a glass bowl. And what is this bowl doing? You could say it's holding a banana or some bananas. And that's partly true, but that's not completely true. You see, the main idea is the big picture. It covers everything in this bowl. I could say that this bowl is holding oranges. And while that is very true, that's not the only thing it's holding. This bowl is holding an apple. If I want to cover the entire main idea of this though, I will have to come up with something a little bit more general than just saying apple, orange, and banana. What could I say? Could I say that the bowl holds the fruit? I could, and that is the main idea. I'm going to show you today a really cool way to check to see if your main idea is correct. Again, we just determined that the main idea of this is a bowl holds fruit. If you want to check to see if your main idea is correct, all you have to do is turn it into a question. So if my statement is the bowl holds fruit, I could say, does the bowl hold fruit? fruit? And then I can start looking. Each one of these represent a supporting detail. Does the bowl hold fruit? It holds an apple. Does that help answer the question, does the bowl hold fruit? Is an apple fruit? Does the bowl hold fruit? It holds an orange. Is orange a fruit? Does the bowl hold fruit? It holds my favorite, bananas. So, it's the same way with a text. I'm going to read to you, I'm going to read to you a little bit about, from an informative text. And I want you to not just listen to specifics, but I want you to think the whole time I'm reading this, if I had to say in one word, what is this about? What would I say? If I had to say what it does, what would I say? And then we're going to practice. We're going to turn it into a question. And we're going to take specific um, statements from this text. And we're going to see if we actually created the correct main idea. This particular text comes from a book titled, one Well. This is an informative book, and we're actually going to be reading from the page that says Access to the Well. <clears throat> Some families are lucky. They can turn on the tap for drinking water to fill a bathtub, wash their car, or water the garden but other families around the world are less fortunate. One billion people 
almost 16% of Earth's population, had to walk more than 15 minutes to get to the nearest water supply. There, they gather water for the day, just a few jugs, barely enough for drinking, cooking, and cleaning. Other families don't have access to enough water to meet even these most basic needs. While the amount of water on Earth is always the same, the distribution of water across the world isn't. Huge differences in rainfall can happen from country to country and even within the same country. Less rainfall means less water available in lakes, rivers, and aquifers. Sometimes there just isn't enough water where it's needed the most. Because water is not evenly distributed across the globe, nearly one-fifth of the world's population does not have access to enough water. Many of these people live in Africa and Asia. So I'm challenging you to think in one word, or maybe a phrase, who was this about? I would be tempted to say it's about people in the world. You might have chosen to say it's about water. Let's go with the people in the world. What did this author want you to know about people in the world? Hopefully you're thinking that it means people in the world struggle with getting enough water. There are people in the world who do not have enough water to, to meet their needs. Let's go with that. Let's say that is the main idea. So going with a little trick that I taught you, there are people in the world who don't have enough water. Let's use the trick. Let's turn it into a question. Are there people in the world who don't have enough water? Inside this bag, I've cut three strips, and they're taken directly from the text that I just read you. So I'm going to get a strip out, and if it answers the question, are there people in the world who don't have enough water, then we know that we probably found the right main idea. Here we go. This says, while the amount of water on earth is always the same, the distribution of water across the world isn't. So I ask you, are there people in the world who don't have enough water? This says that the water doesn't go to everybody on the, in the world. So does this help answer the question? If the answer is yes, then we know we're on the right path. Let's draw another one. And again, these come straight from the text that we just read. I could have even done this. I could have even gone and just chosen a sentence. <clears throat> so, Sometimes there just isn't enough water where it's needed most. Are there people in the world who don't have enough water? Sometimes there's not enough for those people. Does this answer the question of the main idea? Yes. Are there people in the world who do not have enough water? One billion people. Almost 16% almost of Earth's population have to walk more than 15 minutes to get to the nearest water supply. Does this answer the question? Yes. So I want you, I want to challenge you to start looking around your house, looking at pictures, looking at a photograph, looking at your pet 
and ask yourself, who is that about? Who or what is it about? And what do they do? What's the main thing they do? And then I want to challenge you to turn that main idea you just created into a question and see if you can find details that actually answer that question. 